Hi, everybody. It's Dr. Sam Robbins. Now, most people eat all the wrong foods when wanting to lower their blood sugar, whether it's to prevent or reverse their diabetes or to simply lose weight, live longer, and just be healthier all around. Now, in another video, I discuss how blood sugar literally controls how you age and what diseases you can get or even prevent. And you can watch that special video for details after you watch this one. Just click the link below in the description area. However, today I'm going to quickly list the seven best foods that are clinically proven to lower your blood sugar and help prevent or even reverse diabetes. And as a side benefit, you'll also lose weight, have more energy, improve your memory, and even reduce wrinkles. However, before I continue, if you aren't already, please make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel right now while it's fresh on your mind because I've got some very important videos coming out soon about this topic and similar topics and I don't want you to miss out. All right, so let's get started. The very first are vegetables. Now, there's lots of different diets, right? There's low carbs and high fat diets and vegetarian and Mediterranean diets and so forth, and they all work to a certain degree. However, there's one thing they all have in common, and that's for you to eat vegetables. And the best ones are the green ones. Things such as spinach, broccoli, kale, and other greens are a good source of antioxidants, vitamins, polyphenols, and other ingredients which will help reduce inflammation, blood pressure, and blood sugar levels. Eat as much as you want. Steaming is great, but don't put any dressing on them. Uh, maybe you can use a little bit of sea salt, lemon, and other spices is perfect. Next, we have fatty fish. Fish is one of the healthiest foods on the planet, especially the fatty ones because they're low in heavy metals and high in essential omega-3 fatty acids, and they're also a good source of protein. Now, they're good for your heart and blood sugar because they reduce inflammation and the blood sugar, and even when you eat them with carbs such as like white rice. The best fish are typically wild-caught salmon, sardines, herring, anchovies, and mackerel. Then we have nuts. Listen, raw nuts taste great and they're good for you. They're high in fiber, they're very low in carbohydrates and contain healthy essential fats. All of this helps reduce inflammation and again, lower your blood sugar, your A1C levels and also your cholesterol levels. And the best ones are walnuts, almonds, hazelnuts, pistachios, and macadamia. Um, avoid peanuts and cashews since they're technically not nuts. They're legumes and can cause allergies for most people, especially the peanuts. Now, try to eat them raw because roasting and cooking them changes the fat structure and make sure you don't eat too much since they are very dense in calories. All right, now we have extra virgin olive oil. Now, extra virgin olive oil is extremely beneficial for heart health and blood sugar. It contains oleic acid, and this is a type of monounsaturated fat that's been shown to improve triglycerides and HDL, which are often at unhealthy levels in type 2 diabetes. It also increases the fullness hormone GLP-1. This reduces your cravings, especially for sugars. Olive oil also contains antioxidants called polyphenols, which, again, reduce inflammation, protects your heart and blood vessels, two areas people with high blood sugar are weak in. Also, make sure you purchase a very reputable source because most olive oil is, unfortunately, mixed with other junky oils. Thus, don't get anything found at your local supermarket. That's the cheap stuff, and it's filled with a lot of different junky oils. Next, we have seeds. Now, raw seeds such as flax, sunflower, pumpkin, hemp, and sesame seeds have lots of health benefits. They're very high in fiber and full of amazing minerals and vitamins. They're proven to help decrease your risk for heart disease, improve your blood sugar levels, reduce your A1C levels, and also improve your blood flow and circulation. And now we have apple cider vinegar. Now, apple cider vinegar has been shown to improve insulin sensitivity and lower fasting blood sugar levels. And it may also reduce blood sugar response by as much as 20% when consumed with meals containing carbohydrates. And number seven are berries. Now, most people are told not to have sugar, especially the fructose, which is the sugar found in fruit. And to a certain degree, this is correct. Now, I don't think you should ever have fruit juice because it's just too concentrated and is really high in sugar. But fruit is really just made up of mostly water and fiber. Plus, they have a low glycemic index and thus don't raise your blood sugar very much. However, berries are one of the healthiest, not only because they're low in calories, but also because of the antioxidants their skin contain from the ripening in the sun. Blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries are one of the best. And I also like sour cherries 
even though it's really not a berry. Uh, these fruits are clinically shown to lower your blood sugar, especially after a meal, even for those with diabetes. So those are the seven foods clinically proven to lower your blood sugar. However, there is one category even more powerful, and that's herbs, plants, and extracts. Now, even though today's topic is about food, there are specific plants, herbs, spices, and extracts which can have dramatically positive effects on lowering your blood sugar, even much more so than food. And if you want the truth, listen, plants and herbs are food and probably one of the most important categories of food. And, sp and there are specific plants, herbs, and extracts that can have drug-like results, but without any of the negative side effects, which shouldn't be surprising because most drugs, well over 50%, are actually based on plants and herbs found in nature. Unfortunately, the pharmaceutical companies change the original structure, patent them, and then make billions of dollars. Unfortunately, in the process of changing this natural structure, they also create negative side effects. But anyway, my favorite herbs that you should take are bitter melon, uh, gymnema silvestri, fenugreek, banaba leaf, and cinnamon extract. Now, when these herbs are combined together, along with some specific vitamins and minerals, scientific research has shown over and over again that they can create healthy blood sugar levels, improve insulin sensitivity, and lower your A1C, A1C levels. Now, in summary, listen, there you have it. If you want to lower your blood sugar, uh, prevent and even reverse diabetes, and just live a healthier, longer life, eat more green vegetables, fatty fish, extra virgin olive oil, raw nuts, seeds, apple cider vinegar, berries, and for faster results, take specific plant and herbal extracts. In fact, this is exactly how my own uncle naturally lowered his blood sugar, lost 34 pounds, and even reversed his diabetes. And you can get all the details on how he did it, and you can actually copy his exact easy-to-use formula by clicking the link below in the description area and watch the next video. Well, there you have it for today. I hope this video gave you more clarity. If you liked it, please subscribe to this channel. If you found it helpful, Please share the health with others so they can benefit as well. Also, do me a favor and please leave your questions and comments below. And most importantly, do yourself a big favor. Make sure you click the link below in the description area and watch a short video about how I lowered my uncle's blood sugar by 46% in less than 30 days. As always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.